Hello everybody, this is Frikes. If you're wondering what happened to my Multimedia Fusion 2 tutorial series, um, I stopped it for no reason whatsoever, and I'm probably going to continue that. Um, I basically did the camp and just, nah, and I did other stuff. And I've been working on a game, which I'm not going to release any content on yet. But, right now, I'm going to show you how to do a multi-controller engine, or use multiple controls, uh, controllers. Anyway, create a new game, and you're going to want, need to download two objects if you don't already have them, and there will be a link in the description. You're going to need the control X, which is for keyboard, and a uh, the joystick 2, which is if you want a joystick or controller, like an Xbox controller. Um, you're also going to need a person, character, uh, active right. Um, yeah, make it green. It's the color I had. Um, also, I'm going to create uh, something for it to shoot. Um, just for demonstration purposes. So you can see a button. Uh, here, nothing really special. There. Oh, and uh, you may, if you want, you can just set the hotspot to the middle. Just really quickly, I'm gonna title these. You're also going to need two counters. Um, okay, uh, title this one, direction, and this one, oops, button. And also change the uh, initial value for this, change the maximum value to or minimum to zero, and this one. Uh, 128. Then this one's going to be 8, 0, and 8. Yeah. Um, now, because you're going to want to attach your multi controller, your multiple controllers, you're going to want to uh, test it and see what's going on. So I'm going to create a new group of events called Movement. And this is just going to be making the character move. Um, you don't have to do this, and in that case, you can probably end the video um, and go to the joystick or keyboard or touch, depending on what you're trying to do. Um, but uh, so we're just going to do compare counter to a value zero um, and make four of these, this one's going to be two, uh, this is going to be four, and this is going to be six. Uh, and I got a position, uh, let's uh, select X coordinate, um, here, and then three I've seen is a good number. And just do oops, just drag it down, edit it, and make that minus, and do the same thing for the Y. And this is going to be minus three. with this and it's one you're going to launch an object this thing yep that's the movement that's it for this part thank you for watching make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it um, 
you want to see more of this kind of stuff, you can subscribe. And if you dislike, please leave a comment so I can improve for my next video. Uh, thank you. Okay, you're probably wondering why the video is not over at this point, and that is because I forgot a few things. Um, first of all, you cannot use this multi-controller movement if you have any of these movements here selected. So, bouncing ball, path, mouse control, uh, that's not going to even work. Um, yeah. Um, those will not work. Um, and this is basically um, a custom four directions movement. It's not eight directions because I'm using a counter. Um, and anywhere where you have a keyboard or a uh, joystick, uh, probably if you have a joystick, you probably already have this. Uh, but basically, zero it equals right, two equals up. 4 equals left and 6 equals down and those are your controls and you'll have to replace all of those uh, in your pro all of the movements in your program with those um, that's basically all I wanted to cover in this extension sort of I guess it's part of the, still part of the same video for you um, that is all uh, thank you for watching